Hey guys, EVV Man here, and in today's video, we're taking a look at the Snapmaker 2.0 2021 rotary module that's gonna allow you to take something as simple as this and make it look like something like this. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now, a few weeks ago, Snapmaker announced a brand new rotary module that's gonna change the way you laser engrave on the Snapmaker 2.0. Now we've looked at the 3D printing options. We've looked at the laser engraving options. And now we're gonna revisit laser engraving, but this time using the rotary tool. And I have to tell you, the rotary tool is a game changer. It changes the way you use the Snapmaker 2.0. And here's an example of some of the things that we've did. So take a look at this. So here is a little cardboard, I would say, cylinder that I engraved using the Snapmaker 2.0 just to see how it would work. Now, a little boring, right? It just has EBP Man Tech reviews and the little YouTube on there. Well, here I created something else using the same device. Look how cool that is, right? Really different. And more importantly, you know, when I look at the next option that we have right here, take a look at this. Um, I took a simple water bottle, something that I picked up in our local big box retailer. It cost me six bucks. Pick this up. And then I personalized it and now it became something like this. So this took just a few hours to create and imagine all the possibilities, everything that you'll be able to do where you can actually laser engrave and personalize objects like this. So what I have here is, you'll notice that, again, this is a stainless steel flask. I'll go ahead and open it up so you can see you know, that it's stainless steel. And I ran the laser to just go through this and it did this in around three hours. Um, at 100% strength, and it just went through and it created this. Now, this is my very first try, and I'm sure I'm gonna be able to perfect it even further, but I absolutely love the overall quality. Take a look at this. We're gonna go ahead and rotate it slowly so you can see the quality. And what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to engrave a second bottle, and I'm gonna show you how that's done. So let's go ahead and check it out. Now, Snapmaker has created some videos showing you how to set up the rotary module. I'm not gonna cover that in this video. I'm just gonna cover how easy it is to use it once it's been set up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take uh, this specific water bottle, right? This is the one that we just engraved. I have one side, I have Snapmaker. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put something else on this side. In order to do that, I'm gonna use the clamping system to lock it into place. And it's uh, pretty straightforward. So I'm just gonna come over here and I'm gonna open this up so that it fits nicely. And I'm gonna put it like in this angle right here. And then I'm gonna rotate this until it locks into place, right? Now, they do have uh, two uh, metal pieces that you can put in here where you can really tighten this, but I'm only doing hand tightening because I don't expect this to move very fast. And I've already tested this a couple times. Um, if I was using the CNC carver, I probably use the tightening tool that they have. So I just hand tighten it because I don't really want to have any kind of marks on this part of the water flask. Now, the other thing that you may wanna do is put tape like painter's tape around it when you tighten it up, just in case, uh, so that you don't get any marks. Now the next part of the process is to enter the dimensions of the material that you're using. So I've already measured the bottle. I know more or less uh, what the dimensions are. I'm gonna key these in, and then we'll continue with the next step. Now the next step in the process is to set the point of origin, or the work origin. Now my work origin, based on how I set it up in Lubin, is going to be the bottom, not the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that up now. So now that I've aligned laser and I'm happy about where it's at, I'm gonna go ahead and set the origin and I'm gonna run a boundary test. Now, one of the things that's really important that I highly, highly recommend is that you do pick up the Snapmaker stop button because if you, for whatever reason, do not configure this correctly um, and the actual laser head or the CNC head starts running towards, uh, I would say, the tip of the actual rotary tool, uh, you could damage it. So I like having an, uh, the stop button because it's easy for me to just press the button and not have to reach all the way to the back to try to power down the unit. So the stop button to me is an absolute must. Also with the actual enclosure, it makes it so much easier to deal with any kind of fumes because I have everything extracted and I don't have to worry about it. Let's go ahead and do that test origin now. All right, now that everything looks good, we're gonna close everything up and then we're gonna start the actual engraving process. Now, based on the speed of my um, actual settings, this is gonna take around an hour to two hours. All right, let's check out the finished product. Pretty cool, huh? 
Now you saw how easy it was to engrave this bottle and the time is going to vary based on the size of the graphic and the resolution that you're looking to get. I'm trying to get the highest possible resolution and I have engraved things that take two hours, four hours, or even seven hours, seven hours to engrave. And you see this right here. So here we have our EVP man uh, tech reviews. This specific bottle, as I etched away kind of the finish, has kind of like blue steel underneath it. It doesn't have like the chrome steel that you see right here. And as we flip it back to the original one, so you can see what this looked like right here, these are basically um, etching away the paint and then engraving, right? So it's engraving whatever you have here. Uh, again, very easy to do. Uh, it's something that expands the utility of the Snapmaker 2.0 with this rotary module. And I have to say, I highly recommend, if you're looking to expand again the functionality of the printer, make sure you get that stop button uh, so you can stop it just in case you have any problems. And then also, uh, make sure you get the rotary module. Highly recommend it. See you in the next one.